How did Muhammad want to establish the caliphate? Go say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before I slap you. Say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay. Say you are on record. Excuse me, sir. Stay away. Stay away. Yes. Don't disrespect the prophet. Excuse me. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Take that mentally ill person away. The ma what is there for? What is funny in that? Anything funny in that? What would you do to your fellow Muslims? It's a human being like you, yeah. Well, like, go f you haven't said anything to him. Stay. What, what do you think about that behavior? This you know behavior? why we gotta behave like this? What do you think about you this? Don't, have no shape. don't touch me. You don't have shape. Stay you away. Or else you will be in prison. You, so you know what Excuse me. Stay away, he said. Clearly your mind hasn't worked for a long time. Stay away. Don't say Muhammad straight. Say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Excuse me, stay away. You believe in I'm calling the police right now. Police stay away. You are the police, man. You think we care? The feds and you. Uh, is that all on, brother? It's not recording now. Yes. Hey, you are a thief! You are on record to be a thief! Stay away or else I am reporting you to the police! Stay away, sir! You, sir, despite the fact of your white, you are a thief! Stay away! Please stay away! Excuse me, that was my Quran! Do you have any idea about belonging? Has any Muslim here ever through respect to the Quran? Well, it must have been thrown to the rub. You see the free Quran? I know I have a perfect solution for you guys. I have a perfect solution for you guys. Go online and check for rubbish clearance. They will come and help you out. All your rubbish could be cleared out in minutes. All right, Nobody now that we I'm have intelligence, in circus to have fun and laugh at people, honestly. Well, you are the sir, you are the you are I'm the animal of the circus, sir. Like okay, <laughs> come on. He comes here week in week you out preaching paid. Christianity, yet still Christianity no, no, no. by the day loses followers, yes. so they can do nothing, nothing but attack Islam. Do you believe in Islam, sir? Well, give reasons to Excuse me, sir. Society. How many Muslims here yeah, believe? Believe strongly in your tradition. This guy, Islam. he doesn't even believe. Excuse me, sir. Why are people leaving Christianity? The zoo has moved I, on. I and I can clearly see you are a clown. As you can move on too. Joining Islam. Amen. Hey, hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Clowns that way. Clowns that way. In relation to serious Muslims, some people who are educated, please, any educated Muslim here, in their own country. No, don't touch me, don't touch me. To my Any educated Muslim at the park. First time in the UK census, Christianity Not is a minority in UK. Uh, People can't make sense of the Trinity. They can see through why it's illogical. Are you happy and now? And when people are told these lies, they find something that makes more sense. And they come to Islam and that's why we are the number one growing religion projected to overtake Christianity globally by the year 2050. But that doesn't make 2050. By the year 2050. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you follow his logic? According to his logic, Make us Excuse right, me, sir. Don't touch me, sir. To ask According to his logic, the truth should have more people following it. That's his logic. Did you follow his logic? More people should follow the truth. That is his logic. In that case, may I please ask you the question, sir? Why are there less Muslims in the world today? As opposed to those right. who claim to be Christians. Okay. Joining Islam and leaving Christianity. You seem to have two years, so hopefully it works. Be nice. Be nice and polite. All right. Is there any educated Muslim here? I'm going to ask you a simple question. 
And the simple, yes. you are an educated Where Muslim. Your, why are you washing the well, Clearly not. <laughs> so, Muslims, my dear Muslim friends, the why question you to you is simple. <laughs> what <laughs> is a weekend, a Excuse week me. out, attacking Islam, Don't touch me. throwing Qurans, disrespecting, why? and provoking his Muslim why why do you steal his Because we are Muslims. Prove to me. Because you just do not run away. I know you are embarrassed of your own. You are embarrassed that for the first time. He is still going through mental trauma. He is a minority. He has escaped from Haiti right. today. It's true. And he is still going through post traumatic stress disorder. And the trauma he had was that what he believed to be something which everyone would respect has been thrown away. That is his problem. Christianity is a decline. Are you Muslim, sir? No. Okay, that's good. You are. That's good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's good. How many? Is there any educated Muslim? Are you Muslim, sir? You look scared. You must be a Muslim. <laughs> this is his tactics what? weekend. What does that have anything to do with? Are you a Muslim, sir? He targets. Well, he is a comedian. Ignore him. Are you a Muslim? Please come here, sir. What's that? Excuse me. I'm going to tell you one more time and last time. Don't touch me. You are in a public space. You cannot expect. Do not touch me. Don't touch me. My palm has no. Don't touch me. Is that clear to you? You keep your. Do not touch me. Simple. I wasn't coming after you, sir. You are the desperate one here. Okay, Muslims. Are you Muslims, sir? Okay, please come here. So you follow Muhammad. Yeah. You believe in the fact that Muhammad had issues at Mecca. Mecca, yeah. when he started project, uh, uh, started preaching about Islam in Mecca, yeah. did people have a problem with him yeah. in Mecca? Yeah. And he went away to Medina and he came back yeah, to, preach again. to preach again. Have you got any historical evidence for this? Yeah, I've got from the Quran. From the where, where in the Quran? Please take, in, please take your Quran and give me details as to where, what. Don't touch me. Good, thank you. Don't touch me. Please give me details. Anyone else? Any other Muslim here? I'm asking a simple question. I would like to know what historical evidence exists to build the character called Muhammad in history. If any of you know of any historical details, that you could present here for us to understand who the historical Muhammad was, please pitch in. I can see Muslims walking away. Any Muslim who is able to present evidence, you sir, you have a nice beard, you might be able to help. Have you got any details of Muhammad? I am an ignorant man, please educate me, come here. Any evidence at all? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Have you got any evidence? Clearly not. Is there any Muslim here at the park who could provide evidence to build a picture of the historical Muhammad? That's right. Now the zookeeper has gone quiet. The zookeeper, as you could imagine, has gone quiet. Could you see that? Yeah. I'm asking for evidence, and the zookeeper is now quiet. Any evidence, sir? Answers for why Christianity. Any evidence, sir? Excuse me, sir. Any evidence? Any evidence? I asked the question first. The time that it took. Excuse me, sir. The time that it took, the time, let's do an interview here. The time that it took for you to put on your funny zoo clothing, zookeeper clothing, 
You could have done a little bit of research. Any evidence? Brother, I'm not, not giving to you. It's not your mind. Any evidence? It's, can I hold the mic? Okay. Okay. okay, if I'm Give giving to him, I'm not taking it back. No, I don't want to take that. Okay. I don't want to take anything from him. Any historical evidence? You, sir, you look like a sensible man. Are you a Muslim, sir? You're not a Muslim? Okay, that's good. That's good. Are you a Muslim, young man? Please come here. Honest man. Please come here. Honest man. Are you scared? Target Muslim. Yeah. He knows. Who is a bold Muslim here? Are you Muslim, sir? Are you Muslim? Please come here. You don't understand. Oh, you, oh, you, we're still waiting. What were you, you were using Prophet Google? What happened? I want to just uh, repeat the question. Is okay. There any evidence for the Christian? Nah, ha, ha. There we go. Muhammad, any evidence? Even Prophet Google did not help you. It's quite sad, isn't it? Even Prophet Google. Please ring up Google and let them know that they haven't solved the solved the issue. Any other Muslim? Are you Muslim, sir? Please come here, sir. We're having a serious conversation. Ignore the clowns and come here, please. No answer. What historical evidence have you got to build a picture of the person of Muhammad? What's that? Chapati? Are you a bit confused? Well, it's not even hot today. What's going on in your brain? Is that a brain freeze or what? Chicken biryani. Chicken biryani. Islam hasn't done good to you, has it? Yes, yes. It has helped you eat, eat a lot, think about chicken biryani, but nothing much here. Excuse me, sir. Have you got any help for us, sir? I mean, the zookeeper needs help. Can you help him? Please, look at the confession, the zookeeper. Are you, are you going to help us? All right, my dear Muslim friends, my dear Muslim friends, this is the challenge I'm going to present to you. The challenge is there are two different uh, Muhammads we see in his. Excuse me. Listen, you are. I'm sorry, you touch him. You touch him. I'm sorry, you are taking steps. If we move this you proud, who is taking steps change, now? Change, Listen, you change, 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 you change. if we move this proud, what's that? There'll be more. Yeah, yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. I should move away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, yeah, I came yeah, here. Yeah. All right, the Muslim has said, therefore, it must be wrong. It's as simple as that. All right, in history, Listen, I'm, I'm not moving. Listen. Keep your wide your eyes open, sir. I'm not moving right now. All right. In history, who is moving now? So I don't. I do not. Listen. Let me finish. Well, the Quran doesn't teach anyone to be truthful. So, so I would not ask him to move from here. This is this is the best of the lies of the Quran. All right, my dear friends. Especially if you are Muslims, please listen to what I am saying right now. There are two different Muhammads we see in history. One of them, excuse me, sir. Move the pram. Move the pram. Look at this area. Are you confused? I'm asking you to stay away from me. It's as simple as that. Don't. Make more room. Move the pram. Make more room. Why? 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 Why should he? What do you think about this guy? Why should he? Excuse me. Sorry, my Take a rest. Take a rest. Uh, he needs that. What's he your name, that. sir? <laughs> What's your name, sir? Thank you very much. What's your name, sir? You seem to be maybe 15, 16 years old in your body. But in your brain, what's happening, sir? Any growth at all? Please give me some evidence to show that you are growing up mentally, sir. Any evidence? Moving away rapidly. I'm still here. Most of the Muslims I'm coming across seem to be growing up everywhere. But mentally, there seems to be a problem. 
Do you also observe the same issue? What am I doing? I ask a question, can't even and comprehend a simple question. Happened. He's been here for week in, week out for years. This is my first time I'm an sick of seeing this man. This is not your first time. Don't lie. You're a liar. You stole his Quran. What does he have done to you? You stole his Quran two weeks back. All right, you you right. my dear friends. Who among you could provide evidence today? Hello, sir. Are you a Muslim, sir? Please come here, sir. Please give us some evidence. Please. What's that? Okay. That's good. That's very good. That's very good start. And I'm asking a simple question. You know, Mohammed. No, no, don't listen to him. Are you a Muslim? I'm not. Okay. So, I am a Christian. And I'm trying to understand Islam. I'm trying to understand the person of Muhammad. You follow Muhammad? Okay. So here is my important question. Uh, Muhammad is very important for you, isn't he? Yes. Too important. The way he moves around is the way you'd like to move around. The way he does most of the things, that's how you'd like to do most of the things. In other words, you would need to know who Muhammad was historically. We know. We know. Good. She thinks she knows. No, so I'd I know. like to... I know. Okay. Okay. I, I, I take that seriously. She says she doesn't think she knows. Okay. That's good. Now, please let me know, sir. What? Uh, please. Are you? Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Please give me details of the historical evidence that you use. Check the Quran. Check the Quran. Any historical evidence? The Quran. Or any historical evidence that we can use to build a build What's a picture. I'm I'm asking a question. You want the picture? Okay. This is my argument. This is an argument. Yeah. My argument is. My argument is. Muslims in the 21st century, the idea of Muhammad you have comes from not the 7th century when Muhammad is supposed to have lived, but from very well later on from a far away land. That's my claim, that's my challenge. So I'd like to ask you what early historical evidence you use to understand. A picture of the person of Muhammad. How do you get to know details of Muhammad? Because, like, from what I know, uh, the people that lived around him, they, they like they wrote down everything that happened. And which which everything that which literature down. you have in mind? What do you mean? No, you're talking about people writing things down. What, what did I write down? What, what are the books you have in mind? Stories, the Quran. Uh, like, they're not like holy books. Or like, uh, yeah, but which books? Religious books. Yeah, give me some names. Show us some more. Uh, the story of uh, uh, Islam. They're called, they're called hadith. They're like sayings by the Hadiths people. come yeah. 200 odd years later. No, there are from people around. Sahih al Bukhari comes 200 odd years no, later. No, there are from Abu Bakr as Siddiq, from uh, Abu, ba which Abu Huraira. Book, which book from Abu it's Bakr? It's not a book, they're just like sayings written down by people that were passed down. Please, please listen to me. Uh, I want to know this isn't which like, book. This it's isn't not my an area. Argument. Like, it's it's not an argument, like, it's what we believe in. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, okay. That's let's, it. let's put it this way. You are a young man. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to follow. You don't want. You don't want to follow something which is not true. What? You don't want to follow some. Please, please let the young man think. Kalas, kalas. Let him think. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to follow something which is a fabricated lie, would you? Of course. Good. And that is why you should know. Yeah. Don't tell me this is not your area. If you want to take Muhammad seriously, you personally, what's your name? Mustafa. Mustafa personally should know yeah. what the historical evidence for the person of Muhammad is. Yeah. For example, you said something was written down by Abu Bakr. Yeah. Would you know what that book is? I haven't looked into it, but I'm there sure no there are people. There is no such book we have access to. But there are people that do know about this. I, I am I telling you, there yeah. is no such book okay. written by Abu Bakr that we okay. have access to. No such thing. Okay. In other but words, I have faith in Islam, so like. No, 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 don't, don't, no, no, no. For me. My dear friend, yeah. would you like to believe in something which you don't know about? Yes. Yes? Yes. You want to believe no, in things we you know? We know, we know about it. Oh, good, good, good. Sir, before you believe, you need to know yes, if it is true. Of course. And that is where I am asking you don't tell me you have faith. Yeah. Without evidence, if you have faith, that is belief in something you don't know about. Yeah. Yes. So, this is the challenge for you. Where are you from? Iraq. Iraq? Yeah. Iraq. 
is where, as a matter of fact, some of the books that you are referring to were of written course. in. Yeah. From Iran, how close are you to Mecca? Uh, it's not that far, like a few not hours. Not that far? Yeah. A few hours by what? By plane. By plane? Was yeah. there a plane in the 7th century? No. no. By road? Was there automotive? You know, of was course there not. Of course not. Yeah. Uh, camels and stuff. How yeah. long would it take from Iraq to Mecca? The weeks. Weeks? Yeah. Weeks away? Yeah. How did someone who live in your land write about things which happened 200 years before him in a land which, are, which is weeks away from him? How did he write that? I don't know. Well, uh, exactly. It's not something that I looked into. But I really. But do you see my pro point now? I really want you to look into this because. I would want to look into it, but personally, it's not like something I'm doing right now. That's it. Not at the moment, but yeah. when you go home. Yeah, yeah. When you go home, please check this out. Yeah. Many people are leaving Islam for a valid reason. There are multiple but valid many reasons. Many people are also being convinced by Islam. I'm not sure. What's that? You don't have mind. You crazy. I don't have mind. I crazy. He moves on. It's good to see you. Who doesn't have mind? Someone who just speaks here and then walks away. You see here. This is typical Islamic behavior. When they are upset with the questions I ask, just say I don't have mind and walk away. If you think you have mind, stay and challenge. If you cannot say and challenge, it is evident for everyone, sir, as to who has a mind and who does not. Please prove to me. Please come here. Please come here and prove to me, sir. Shut up. <laughs> there we go. Typical Islam on display. Are you Muslim, sir? Are you Muslim, sir? So, are you a Muslim, Shut sir? Up. Please, but you can't Shut talk. Up. Is there any Muslim who knows Islam and who can speak in English? Any Muslim? Are you a Muslim, sir? You look scared. You don't need to answer. You don't need to. I agree. But are you one? What's that? You don't need to answer. Why is it that Muslims come to the park and look brain dead the moment the first question is asked they go brain dead you know why because islam hasn't given you knowledge islam has given you brainwashing and you can't even defend that in public this is a sad state of affairs may i please comment to you sir that it is a good decision for you all to leave I'm Islam. Not a Christian, I'm not a Muslim. Leave Islam. Both, you know why? Because Islam so far could not have made sense to you because there is. No In your life as a Muslim, has anyone given you details as to why Muhammad should be believed in? No one has told you. Brain dead still. Brain dead still. Do you think that's a bit sad? I'm not. I'm not. I'm a Christian. Yes. What's that? Which Catholic or those Protestant? Well, I'm a Protestant. Protestant. That's right. Yeah. But to you, coming to you, sir. Okay, okay. Now you're trying to run away now. Now are you trying to run away? Islam, have you got any evidence, sir? Has anyone taught you any evidence about Islam? Brain dead again. Brain dead again. My dear friend, can I please request you? The best thing you could do in your life is to leave Islam. Because Islam is not for people who can think. Islam is for people who can't think. And if you ask them what their name is, they'll talk about Iraq and so on. That is who Islam is for. Not for you. I'd like to think that you are a thinking man. Islam is not for you. And let me put, you, put a simple thing to you. Are you a Muslim, sir? Shut up! You see, for him, Islam is good. He it can Shut keep him busy. Up! Islam could keep Shut him busy. Best idea for him. Up! For, Shut for you, that's good. Shamsi is a rat. He runs away. You are here again. Did you say you are not a Muslim? 
Okay, that's good. Any Muslim who is bold, hello sir, are you a Muslim sir? Please come here sir. Okay, I'll come there, no problem. We are coming to you sir, we are coming to you. This <laughs> baby. No, no, don't worry. So, in regards to Islam, you, you follow Muhammad? Do you take Muhammad seriously? Yeah. How important is he in your Muslim walk? Very important. Very important. The most important. The most important. You'd like to have a beard like him, you'd like to walk around like him, you'd like to clean your hands and everything else like him and so on. Yeah? I try to, I try to. So, in other words, you need to know very much about Muhammad for you to live your Islamic life. Yeah? Correct. Good. So in that regard, one second, sir. No, no, please, one second. In that regard, may I ask you a simple question? What evidence, historical evidence, have you got for you to understand the person of Muhammad? I don't know. How? Wait a second. This is a bit funny. You are very openly confessing. Can I do no, no, one second. No, 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 let's finish this. You're very openly confessing, and you seem to know the importance of the fact that. You as a Muslim need to know even how Muhammad washed his hands. Very in-depth details. You need to know. But then I'm asking you a simple question. What historical evidence you have? Only one question I've asked. And you're saying you don't know. It's a bit sad, isn't it? No, well, there is historical evidence. And what evidence? I just don't know it. Well, but I'm asking you. Because yeah. you as a Muslim is supposed to follow him. You. Yeah. I'm not talking about Shamsi or some other Shamsi or whoever. You need to wash your hands like Muhammad did. Yeah. Apparently. And so you would need to know. Do you know any historical evidence? For? What you're asking. For Muhammad, I have historical evidence. Yeah. I can tell you there are two families. There are two. There are essentially when you explore history concerning this person of Muhammad, you will get to know at least two kinds of Muhammad. The Muhammad of later tradition is not the Muhammad that we find in history, earlier history. I'll give you a simple example. What is the most important event in Muhammad's life to even important enough for you even, for Muslims even, to calculate calendar years based on that event? What is that? Well, I think there's loads of important events. Loads of important events, but, but Islamic calendar, what is that calibrated against? What is Islamic ca uh, calendar calibrated against? You tell me. Hijra. Okay. Hijra. You know that? Yeah. Islamic calendar is calibrated against the event of the Hijra of Muhammad. Supposed Hijra of the supposed Muhammad. Yeah. What was, what's your name? I'm Arul. 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 A R U L. And you are? Uh, my name is Sean. Sean. Yeah. Good to see you, Sean. Do you know, I want to ask you a question. No, but, but, but Sean. No, 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 before we get there, before we get there. Because I don't know much about on how to debate and stuff. So let me ask you a question. What's your purpose here in Hyde Park? So My purpose is to speak to people like you who appear sensible, you know, in first level of asking questions, I appear sensible to challenge you okay. and to let you know yeah. that the religion you're following is a religion of fabrication okay. and a religion of brainwashing. Okay. It does not provide you evidence. Okay, the I... moment you go to historical wait, 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 evidence... Wait, 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 wait. You know, me, as I am, as I'm confessing I'm a Muslim, am I campaigning for anything bad in society? That's not the question we are no, asking. But, no, I'm asking you. I'm asking you the question. You, I don't know. No, I don't so know. If, if I follow Islam, does Islam campaign for anything bad to society? Absolutely. All sorts of by evil in society is from Islam. Okay. All sorts of evil. Have like you read Surah 9, like, Ayah 29? Like Surah 9, Ayah 29. No, tell me. What does it say? Surah 9, Ayah 29 says, What's fight Surah? against. You see? That's what Islam has made him to be. I, why why answer, is my name? Answer, answer. What's, what's okay, funny in that? Answer, what's, your guy? what's funny in that? Okay, answer. It's easy what question. What's funny in that? Is this Are you God? sure is that's what is funny is to you? Is this your God? Is that, is that what's funny that? to you? Okay, is this your God? Is that what's funny to you? I, I don't find that. Because that's it. Oh, but you're smiling. I'm smiling. Is this your God? Because you're smiling. Oh, you this seems like a typical Islamic joke. Oh. Not employing your brain. Maybe this picture not clear. Let me. What's, see. what's that got to do with this? Clear one? picture. Why this guy? What's this this picture. picture. <laughs> okay, please read this. Please read this for me. Surah 9, Ayah 29. Let's read. Thank you. 
Well, I wish something was, in his, something was in his oh. cavity there. A brain that was. Please. Please read this for me. What do you want to read? Uh, Ayah 29, Surah 9, Ayah 29. Why those who do not believe in Allah on the last day will comply with what Allah has said. Okay, because under Buddhism, Okay. So you ask me if Islam propagates any evil in society. Yeah. What is that? So fight those who do not believe in Allah. I don't believe in your. What does what does fight mean? Sean, sure, no, 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 no. No. What does no, fight? What does fight mean? I'll tell you. I'll get to that. Fight, intellectual I'll, fight. Well, what fight is what fight is being advocated in the Quran? Because the way you're acting now. What, what fight is advocated? What fight is advocated in the Quran? What fight is advocated in the Quran? Please read. I don't know. Uh, because I don't know the context of that verse. Okay, well, you don't even need to know the context of the verse. You just need to read the verse properly first. Your wife. Fight. Wait, please. That's good. That's a good point. Listen to what I said. That's a good point. That's a good point. What, what did you say? You know why? You know why? I answered already. Listen to my full statement before you respond. Okay? I, I can repeat my previous statement. Basically, you don't even need to know the context properly. You don't need to know Just the read this verse. The verse in itself will give you the context. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Please stay away. Thank you. Okay. He just preaches. He's an idiot. Trust me. Ah, good. Can ask a question? Did you ask a question to me? Yeah, I did. And am I trying to answer? Yeah, Clearly, he doesn't even know his general knowledge. Uh, please said, move on. He said, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what I said? You did not listen to my full statement. You don't even need. Excuse me, sir. Do you apply to the Bible? I'm speaking to them, sir. You don't even need to know. Please listen to me again. You do not even need to know the context for this particular verse because. The verse itself would clarify, because the question he asked was. I asked you, what does fight mean? Exactly, the verse itself would clarify. The verse itself would clarify. I'll show. Please read. Please read. Please, please read this. Please read this. Fight those who do not believe in Allah. Please listen. And the last day, nor comply with what Allah and His Messenger have for, have forbidden. Yeah, but can I ask you a please listen. No, can no, wait, 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 please. Please, please, please. Please, listen. I'm addressing your previous concern. I'm addressing your previous concern. No, I'm addressing your previous concern. I'd like. I'd like. If I say, for example, I need to fight the system. Yeah. Go on. If I say we need, we need to fight the system against racism, exactly. yeah. What does fight mean in my? You've asked the question already. I'm answering, and my answer is, if you read this verse properly, you would understand already. I don't have to interpret right, that for you. Together. Exactly. Fight those who do not believe in Allah and the last day nor comply with what Allah and His Messenger have forbidden, nor embrace the religion of okay, truth. So logically, no, wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I haven't even finished. The question. I haven't even re finished reading the no verse. Knowledge. I have no knowledge, so I'm asking you. you I, have, I have, but if you want knowledge, say, let me say, finish reading first. Wait, me Please up. let me finish. No, because we're asking together. We're going through go together. On. You're my teacher now. All right, go yeah. on. So in this verse, you're my teacher. Good. Yes. So this says, fight, fight those Fight those who do not believe in Allah. So who is it commanding to fight? I, if you wait and listen, you'll get all the answers. Okay, okay. So are you my teacher in this verse? Yes. Right. Well, I'm, I'm not your teacher. It's an English statement. I'm, you're speaking, so, so you you're speaking much better English than me, so you can listen. Wait, 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 wait. So are you, do, you, do you have authority to teach me this verse? Excuse me, sir. It's a simple English statement. You understand English no, as much as I do. <laughs> you understand English as much as I do. No, I do understand English. Okay, if that is the case, please listen. Please listen. But did I ask you a good question? There we go. <laughs> Your silly nonsense has begun. I thought you are a reasoning person. Now I have reasons to think that is no longer the case. So then we should come the conversation. Well, that appears to be what should be the best course of action now. If a person stands here, would not even let the person who has a, a view against what he has just said finish his point i do not think he's going to have a good conversation with me what do you think can you teach me this verse well wait listen wait listen i can i can show you i've answered you multiple times your own brother younger than you by appearance is telling you to listen 
There we go. Da, 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 da. Please listen, sir. Please listen, sir. Nor embrace the religion of truth from among those who were given the scripture until Muslims have been commanded to whatever to do whatever it takes to make me. You ask who? Clearly tells you who do not believe in the Islamic Mickey Mouse Allah. I don't. Do not believe in Islamic Mickey Mouse Allah and the last day according to your definition, according to the Quranic definition. Excuse me, sir, I didn't ask you any question. Nor comply, nor comply with what the Islamic Mickey Mouse Allah and his messenger, again, who don't. Where did you say Mickey Mouse Allah? Well, this Allah who doesn't exist is Mickey Mouse Allah to me. His messenger have forbidden. So I don't take these things seriously. And so to you, you are supposed to do something according to this verse. No, 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 please, please. Nor embrace. What is this religion of truth? If you don't take it seriously, why are you telling me? What am I not taking seriously? You just said you don't take it seriously. Did you say that, yes or no? I said this Islamic Mickey Mouse Allah, I don't take seriously why, because why, it doesn't why, exist. Why are you telling me that? I take the statements. If it's not a serious thing to you. Are you, uh, are you for real, Sean? Why are we talking about? No, no, Sean, are you for real? Yeah. Do you work somewhere? Yeah. Do you get paid for your work? Yeah. Do you do your business or something? Yeah. What, what is going on? You don't seem to be able to make sense for five minutes. What's going on? No, I'm, not, I'm learning. Excuse you. me, sir. Yeah. You don't no, I'm not I'm not interested in your silly arguments now. You don't seem to be Sean. This is an honest point to you. Yeah, I know. I'm you appear to, you. to be a sensible man who can really make sense. But in the last three, four minutes, you are engaging in childish nonsense. I want no, no, by saying, by interjecting me multiple times, when I've clearly told you, when I've clearly told you, it only takes for you to read this statement and if you want the footnote if you want okay, one, second, one second my friend one second you already read what it. don't you, you understand answer, yeah? in this one second, what don't you understand in this you already read it i i i tell you the answer tell what you don't you understand this no no what don't you understand what do you want? This? i said i'm an educated person but can you speak one english second. what you don't you understand in this you want the answer or no what don't you understand in this well but 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 do you do you understand this this verse is more than just one word. Do you understand that? Have you read the rest of the verse? No, because I don't know Arabic. No, no, in English. Yeah, What's wrong with this English? What, so, are you saying this is an inaccurate translation? Are you saying it's accurate translation? It might be. my friend. So, yeah. So, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. No, no, wait, wait. There we go. No, no, wait, wait. How is he a Muslim if he can't read the English and if he doesn't know Arabic? How? What's going on? Please go on. You know this verse, sir? Yep. Yep. You would say that this is directly. What, sir? This verse saying, fight those who do not believe in Allah on yep. the last day, go comply with Allah and His Messenger. Because they didn't, go embrace the religion of truth. This verse that you're talking about over here, what do you yourself make out from this verse? Well, I've told you clearly, it is asking people to fight. What is the kind of fight we will get clarification on? Who is it? Uh, who? who uh, clearly, it, it is admonishing Muslims. So it's given to you as an advice, as an instruction. As you know, it's given to me and not to the people in the past. Well, is the Quran for all times or not? For certain verses were, were no, 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 wait a second. Is the Quran for all times or not? Okay, go on. Yeah. Certain verses were revealed for certain times. Now you need to give me the evidence that this verse is directed to me. No, tell me. You need to give me. You're giving me. You have to give me evidence. You're making, you're making the claim. Exactly. You have to give me the evidence that this verse What's your is directed name? to me. Safe. 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 Good to see you. I'm Arul. Good to see you, Saif. You were telling me, you are you, you, you mentioning something up to me about Islam, which is weird to me. You were telling me that some verses in the Quran were for appropriate times, some specific times. Where do you get that idea from? From scholars. Where? Which one? Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kurtubi. Ibn Kathir says some verses in the Quran is for only sometimes? No, he says certain verses, if you look at the historical context of certain verses, you will see that they are for certain times. Well, like which one? I'll tell you, can I, can I answer it? When, when Allah I'm speaking to okay, you. I'll tell you, look, Allah says to the people, do not raise your voice about the prophet. <coughs> So what is that for? Is that for now? Are you speaking to me? I'm speaking to them, if you don't mind, please. So, same point here, mate. Do you believe in the caliphate, Islamic caliphate? Do you believe in an Islamic caliphate, Saif? Do you believe in an Islamic caliphate? 
I just want to get to touch upon on that point. Why do you believe, you the Saif, do you believe in an Islamic caliphate? Okay, so, okay, I do and is that the paradise that you'd like to see? Paradise? Right, no, not the literal paradise. Is that is that a wonderful situation, ideal situation for the existence of all human beings in your view? Yes. I think we would flourish on this. Good. Yes. For, for, the, for the Islamic caliphate to come in, what needs to happen before that, according to Islam? I'm not too sure you tell me. How is Islam going to conquer the world? I'm not too sure you, you tell Wait, me. You tell me. You tell me. I'm not because you think you think some verses are for sometimes. I'd like to know. I just I know I'd I'd like to know from you what your view on the caliphate is. I think it's a good thing. But I, 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 I hear you say it's a good thing. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, how exactly is Islam planning to establish a caliphate? I don't see, I don't see the point. In well, it's an okay. important point. If that is your what ideal... Do with what I see if, no, this has everything to do, you know. You need to interpret whatever you have in light of what you understand to be the substance of your religion. The ultimate destiny apart from paradise, prior to paradise, the ultimate destiny on earth to which you would like to get to is the caliphate, is the caliphate. And so everything that you understand from the Quran needs to be understood in the context of the caliphate. In the, in the context of the caliphate? Yeah, of course, if that's the ideal place you want to get to, if that's the ideal situation you want to get to, you would need to understand everything with that as the context. Yeah. So my question is, how according to Islam are you going to get a caliphate? I don't see how this is a response to the question I asked you. Well, anyway, it is. If you stick to my question, you will see. Quickly, in two minutes, you will see where, why I am asking this question. How? Can you repeat it? I'll answer your question. How exactly, how exactly do you think, how exactly, how exactly, how exactly do you think Islam is going to establish a caliphate? My friend, he asked, yeah, the verse he revealed, he made a good point. How do you know that's for our times, not for back then? He said the Quran is for all time. <laughs> good point. Any point? He said there's no context Say, back in the past. Intelligent man. There's a Quran verse where it says, How raise your voice Islam the plans to have a caliphate? Because he's passed away, right? So it's for back then. He's not Muslim. answering the question. People become Muslims. Is that how Muhammad wanted to establish a caliphate? You tell me. It seems like well, you every... tell me. I just told you. Okay. So, okay, I'll give you the answer. All The answer that you've been... The answer, well, I might have, yeah, well, I know better the, better about your religion than what you know. Okay, let's put it this way, let's put it this way. Islam has always wanted a caliphate, not just now, beginning with Muhammad's time. All, please listen, Shane. Islam has always wanted a caliphate. What began with Muhammad, the supposed Muhammad, no one is giving me evidence for his existence so far, but the supposed Muhammad, what he began doing is to establish that caliphate. The followers of Muhammad, the successors of Muhammad, the caliphs, the first caliphs of the Rashidun Caliphate, Rashidun Caliphate. Again, no evidence for the existence, but the claim is Rashidun Caliphate also wanted to, also want, also wanted to establish. Also wanted to establish the same caliphate. You know, once again, Umayyad caliphate. Also, don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Stay away. Stay away. Employ your brain or else stay away. You believe in an expired deen, man. Go. All right. So, Umayyad caliphate also wanted to establish the same caliphate. Abbasid caliphate also wanted to establish the same caliphate. So right throughout history, the attempt to establish the caliphate has never ceased. So how did Muhammad want to establish the caliphate? Go say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before I slap you. Say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay. You are on record. Excuse me sir. Stay away. Stay away. Stay Yes. Don't disrespect that prophet. Excuse me. Stay away. Stay away. Don't disrespect the prophet. Stay away. Take that mentally ill person away. The ma what is there for? What is funny in that? Anything funny in that? What would you do to your fellow Muslim? A human being like you, yeah. Well, like go.
You haven't said Don't anything to him. Stay, what, what do you think about that behavior? We, we no, no, what do you think about this behavior? What do you think about this? Don't touch me. You don't have shape. Stay you away. Shape. Or else so you will be in prison. So you know what Excuse me. Is. Stay away, he said. Hey. Clearly your mind hasn't worked for a long time. Stay away. Thank you. Okay. Stay away. Stay away from civilization, sir. <laughs> you do not belong here. Section him. Put him. Put him. Put him in a mental asylum. What's funny in that? What's funny in that? What's funny in that? Anything funny in that? Just to recap. We're speaking the truth, darling. Keep going. Sure, sure. The angels are surrounding us. Listen to this. Can you eat expired chocolate? Don't worry, all right? How so he's your friend now. What are you going to tell him about his behavior? What are you going to tell him? God's dean is expired a thousand five hundred years ago, bro. So clearly, clearly, you you want to you want to know what Islam you want to know what evil Islam has done to the society? Excuse me, Shane. You should you should be ashamed of yourself. You asked earlier, what evil does Islam do to our society? This is precisely the evil Islam has done to our society. There is a mentally ill man shouting at me and you are friends with him. You see what Islam has done to you? Do you see what Islam has done to you? Why were you laughing earlier? What was funny about earlier? You. What was, excuse me. What was funny about what was happening here earlier? What was funny about insulting our blood? Excuse me, I'm asking you a question. I do what I want to do, sir. I'm asking you a simple question. What was funny in what was happening earlier? Anything funny? Anything funny? Can I please tell you, sir? I have, you are an evidence, and you are an evidence, and Shane, you included. You are evidence of the fact that I do, do not touch me, stay away. You are, you are evidence for, excuse me, for my assessment that there is no sensible Muslim. What was funny in what he was doing? What was funny? Well, is he a friend? Were you speaking to him? Muslim brother. How do you, do you, do you like what he was doing earlier? No, no, but do you like what he was doing earlier? Ah, oh, I speak about Muhammad as just Muhammad. He says, I am insulting his God. Excuse me, sir. Muhammad is just Muhammad. Does he have any other name? Yo, yo, yo. Don't say Muhammad straight. Say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Excuse me. Stay away. I am calling the police right now. Stay away. You are the police, man. You think we care? The feds and you. Who is the we here? Let me see who is running now. You are the we. I spit in your face and the I said we, not weak. You can't even hear properly. Oh, oh, let me see you run now. Don't move from here, man. Move. Hello, hello, madam. Uh, I am at Speaker's Corner. Uh, the police, please. Bro, I just asked one question. Thank you. He couldn't finish the conversation. For you, you a cow. Not for you, not for you. Don't worry. Next, next, next one. Hello, sir. I am speaking from Speaker's Corner at the moment. I am a Christian preacher. I am preaching. And someone, someone is trying to threaten me, sir, at the park. Uh, speaker's Corner. That's right, yeah. That's what he does, G. Did he come here and talk about Christianity? No. I talked to his uh, Someone is actively threatening me, sir, for just calling Muhammad Muhammad. He's trying to threaten me. And I asked him to stay away and move away. He isn't uh, He isn't uh, taking that on board, sir. Why lie? He don't care. He wants to destroy Islam. Yeah, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a Christian preacher trying to speak to people, sir. And he says he'll stab me to death if I was in a Muslim. He's on record. Uh, he looks. Um, 
let's uh, Middle Eastern with uh, curly hair and um, he um, he's on camera sir so we have a recording of him show uh, sorry come again sir uh, no weapons that I've seen so far there's one guy and uh, one guy is the active uh, person who is threatening. There are others who are sort of supporting him, uh, but uh, one active uh, person. Age maybe 20 odd. A black, black clothing, black hoodie, black jacket. Why? There's no point in having a conversation. See what? See what? What conversation you want? What is the conversation you want? What is the conversation you want to have? What conversation? I know, but what conversation? But why? What? Mentally ill people walking around. All right. What? Okay. So have you got answers? Have you got answers? Have evidence, him, historical evidence for the existence of Muhammad. Historical evidence to paint a picture of Muhammad, the person of Muhammad. But later, what would you like to ask about? What would you like to ask about? I just want to ask you. Yeah. Why I come here every week? I see on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. You're Christian, right? Yeah. And you preach Christianity. It, oh, you speak about pure religion, Christianity. Well, I, I do what I deem appropriate. What, what are you talking about? I don't, what is your concern? Please, my please. My concern is why every week I come and you just constantly you attack Islam. You're very... Do you have a... You, anti, you're anti, you antagonize people. But do you have a problem with this? What you're is your problem? You're, you're antagonistic. Antagonistic you're trying to, to, towards who? Trying to raise towards Muslims. Mus what do you mean Muslims? I am talking about I am talking about the Quran. I am talking about Muhammad. Where did raise, Muslims? Listen, you yeah. try to raise a, a reaction out of people, yeah, and then you when you do that. Excuse me, dear, my dear friend. My, let me put it this way. Well, my my point is simple. Okay, we are grown ups. I'd like you to behave. You, 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 everyone who shows up at the park to behave as grown ups. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good to see you. How are you? Bro? Yeah, yeah, through. So I'd like you to behave as grown-ups. Absolutely. Now I am. Ta I disagree with your religion. Okay. I disagree with your religion. I have Christian friends for more than 15 years. We don't even talk. About <laughs> I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just saying I disagree with your religion, and I should be able to do that. Of course, you're right. And that is what I'm doing. I, what is your I problem? What did I disrespect? 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 All Muslims are bad. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Earlier, you just said all Muslims. I said, said there was a maniac bad. standing here trying to threaten, and all of you, many of you guys, I don't know who were here at that time, many of you guys were standing by him. No one to stop him. No one to stop him. He was threatening me actively. He was threatening me actively. Do you? What's that? Well, that's what I. That's what we're talking about. No, that's what we're talking about. Maybe you didn't see that. Maybe you didn't see that. But that's not a problem. There were multiple Muslims here at that time, who clearly saw what was happening. None would ask him to leave, stay away. None would.
I appreciate what you say. I appreciate what you say. <laughs> Fine, I'm not, I'm not saying I don't believe you. It's not human nature. It's not Islamic nature. You should have seen what was happening here a few minutes ago. There were plenty of Muslims who stood around him, said that they were his brothers and so on. None would stop him. None would ask him to stay away. None would. It's not true. In Islam, Islam teaches you to be bad. Therefore, none of you would just stand and challenge him. Well, this is the excuse you have. But I'd like to see how what you would do. I'd like to see what you would do if you had been here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm making a simple point. A Muslim was giving away threats here. If you at all care about sensible behavior, ask about that. Don't try to defend yourself. So stop defending Islam. Start, stop defending. Just focus on the person who was threatening. Just focus on the person who was threatening. It's as simple as that. Sweetie, take care. Okay. There's, there's 36,000 of us. Can you give me a little bit more specific? Was it officers here? Were they here already present? It was a call 101. Yeah, he was at that time. Where did you report it? Um, where? Outside. My friend's got uh, the reference number. Can you give yeah. me the reference number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, come with me. Sure. Yeah. 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 Could you get the footage for me? Yeah, I could I could try and get the footage so we can see what exactly he, the word he used. I'm happy to put a crime report on. Um, yeah. Unless the person is still physically here now, which he's not. He's obviously made it on his toes. Um, he knows that you've called police. We've turned up in the big ice cream van. He's seen us and obviously Potter footed it off out of the park. So the chances are you won't see him here again today. He may well still be in the crowd, however. Yeah, he may actually, because I, 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 I suspect that he wouldn't have gone away but unfortunately of course I can't I can't uh, what would be better would be for to speak to him advise him and basically get eject him from the park I think that would be the sort of appropriate response today if you wish me to put a crime report on there's absolutely no issue at all I'll put a crime report on record you know threats in public order but the issue is because it's speaker's corner it's normally screened out immediately because of the nature of the place people here all got different opinions.